Hey guys, welcome back to my little farm journey. So today I just want to show you guys, this right here is the area that we did the water line. I kind of filled everything back in. It is right next to, this is right next to the greenhouse that we already had. But then the trench goes all the way to the cows back there. Now my plan, what I kind of want to do here is uh, I bought another greenhouse and I want to put that greenhouse next to, next to this one. So it'll be on this area right here. And what I plan on doing is I want to make sure that it's kind of like, it's, I want it to be square with this one. So they're both pretty uh, parallel to each other. And the purpose of this video, I just kind of want to show you guys how to, like if you ever find yourself in this situation, how to make a right angle to make sure that your, your walls line up with something else, right? So when I, this, this greenhouse is square to itself, right? So I, when, I'm, when I put this one up, I make sure that all the walls were square to the greenhouse. I didn't, I didn't square it to the house or to any wall specifically just because I didn't really have a reference to go off of. I just kind of like made it look somewhat uh, square to like the buildings around here. But it was, it's so far away from the other ones that it, it really just, I didn't bother to measure any of those. Now this greenhouse, knowing that it's going to be right next to this one, I did want it to make sure it was square to this one so that it's completely parallel. So, you know, when you're looking at it, it looks very symmetrical. Um, so I do want it to be at least, I, obviously you don't want it to be like right next to each other. I want it to be a little alley in between them because I want to be able to, um, in the winter, the snow is going to come off the sides and accumulate in the middle. So I want to be able to clean the snow off of there or else it's going to be a big pile in between the greenhouses. And that's a problem if you need to open it, then, you know, if you get snow like six, seven, eight feet high, then you can't clean that. So I am going to live in an alley that's about eight feet wide. My, my snow blower is six feet wide. So I'm leaving it eight feet wide. That way it gives me a little, little bit of big wiggle room to get that snow blower and, and the tractor through here to, to clean this up. But, you know, you know, like a lot of times you joke around saying that you're not gonna use math in your daily life later on. But this one thing in geometry that you could use is that, you know, to find the right angle, uh, this is our formula, it's like three, four, and five. So basically what you want for this is you want your your two straight sides one of them needs to be three it's a ratio of three four and then you want a hypotenuse, hypotenuse to be five right so because of the size of what i'm doing this i'm going to do 30 feet by 40 feet and then a hypotenuse and do 50 feet and that should give me enough room to, to at least get this angle going here so i'm going to go right along this wall this greenhouse and i need i did I don't know if you guys can see her right here. I started in this corner. Just put a little bit of twine right here. And then from this side, goes down over here to the screwdriver right there. This side right here is all 30, it's, it's 30 feet of twine. And then from this screwdriver to the other screwdriver, right past Natasha there. You'll see her right back there. A screwdriver that's for another 40 feet and then from that screwdriver the hypotenuse to the corner over here that's 50 feet so as long as you have this this side right here one one side that you know that you want to you want it to be straight this side right here you line this one up so then all you want to do is like once you get this one slice lined up you take those two over there and you measure them so with 50 and 40 kind of like line up together um you know what i did is like obviously the strings are this one's 40 that one's 50 and they meet right when they intersect now when those two intersect and you know this angle right here is a 90 degree angle so this this wall right here should be in theory and in math which usually math is all right you know when you're talking numbers and theories this wall should be parallel to the wall of this greenhouse so then when we build off of this this should be all uh, aligned with, with this greenhouse uh, and then what I'm going to do for the other side you guys can see over there I got a I got a stake pole over there what I do is I measure eight feet from that wall to there and I measure eight feet from this wall to here and I'm going to run a twine from here the pole over there 
and I'm pretty much gonna do the same process the three five and uh, three four and five on that side over there to get that to get that back wall over there but I'm gonna use this twine that I'm gonna run here because I know this this twine is gonna be perpendicular to to this wall you know it's eight feet from from this wall anyways little tip you know if you guys ever wanted to build something right next to another building and you want it to be a hundred percent like perpendicular and aligned that's how you get your 90 degree angles to make sure that it's lined up to whatever it is you want to build all right guys short one but that it could help love you see you in the next one put it in there you can do it You can do it, Papa. Just put it in there. You got it. Oh, you can put it on the ground too. It's fine. You want to throw it on the ground? You can throw it on the ground. <laughs>